What's going on guys, Ozzy here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have a new series. It's called the Squad Review Series and it's pretty much you guys are going to be sending me your squads on Discord that I have created last video. The link will be in the description if you want to join it. You pretty much send in your squad. I'll give you a rating out of 10 after obviously seeing it but i'll also say what the weak points are of the team but let's get straight into it the first person we have is a b now he says i'm gonna get burkamp from icon swaps when when the next batch of tokens come out any improvements and rating now if you, as you clearly can see it's a pretty decent team to be fair to him now obviously he plays the 442 i like how he's got it straight off the bat so he's not like changing formation from the start to the end now, Rooney, really good striker. Burkamp is going to be a really stri uh, good striker when he gets him, obviously. James down the wing, really nice. Sancho down the wing, really nice. This defense is amazing. Like, you got Davis, Hernandez, Herrero, Tierney, and De Gea obviously in goal. Now, the only weakness I do see is these two center mids because they aren't the biggest of players. Now, I would suggest obviously saving up a lot of coins and getting like the foot birthday, the foot birthday, I don't know, uh, Suzoko or someone that is big in the Premier League. Or to be fair, you don't even have to go Prem because James wouldn't be on full chem, but you just play him on weak chem, but you have three icons around him. So that's always good to see. But yeah, I definitely suggest getting a big center mid there. And I'm going to rate this team, I would say... A solid 7 out of 10. I don't think it's outstanding, but it's a really, a really, really nice team. So we do go on to the next person, Hamlin. Now, Hamlin says, can you view my teams? Thank you. Yes, I will. Now, let's have a good look at this. So for me personally, he plays the 4 2 3 one. That's what I can see. I'm guessing you play Muni... M I think I can't pronounce it correctly. Munayin, I think it's how you pronounce it. And De Jong in the center mid. That's not terrible, but I don't suggest playing him as a centre mid. Rodrigo, Griezmann, Hazard is also another situation. Obviously, if it works for you, then it's all good. But Hazard has got that bulky body in game. And I haven't played like a gold Hazard in a very long time. Simply because he is not like one of those players that is outstanding in this game. I like how you got the Dharma Triora day, the little link with uh, Kappa. Sergio Ramos, nice. Varane, nice. To say good, nice. Marcelo. Mm, you could do a bit of work there if you obviously wasn't around when the footmas mendy was out i really i feel really really bad for you because he would have fit in that role so so perfectly it would have been ridiculous but i definitely suggest the three people you can upgrade rodrigo is a fantastic player munayin get a different center mid hazard a bit of a sticky one and marcelo so these these three right here definitely improved now i have to give the rating out of 10 it's a good team. It's not outstanding, but I am going to give him like a 7.5 out of 10. Now we move on to the next guy. Oh, AB. Oh, he posted it again. Don't worry about that. Now, this is my squad in game, bro. I uh, hope you like it. Okay, let's have a look at this. Right. So obviously regarding Kem, uh, what's it called? Kem because he's, this is in game. Ashley Young, Lamb, that is pretty good as well. Sterling, he's that Sterling card when I used him, he was insanely fast. So I understand why I use him down the wing. The only problem with him, he will be getting bodied a lot. Now, defense is out of this well. Now, that right there, that, that defense, there's not a lot of people that's going to get past it if you play it correctly. I can tell you that. Now, Pogba for me has always been an issue. So I do suggest like changing that Pogba. 100% maybe save up for like a, a foot Mr. Zoko he will literally be perfect with N'Golo Kante Abamyang. if he works for you obviously then you can go with it but for me Abamyang has always been one of those players where he has got that like long build up when taking a shot so it's always always going to be an issue for me personally your cam roll is perfect do not change Rooney that Rooney is literally end game but yeah, one thing I do suggest is definitely changing that Pogba. If Aubameyang works for you, obviously keep him. But Pogba is definitely the one you need to change. He's good defensively, but when he does come to going forward, he feels so, so bad on the ball. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Now, I have to give him a rating out of 10. It's a good team, to be fair. It's a good team. I'm going to give him... I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Mm, I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. Simply because I personally don't like Aubameyang. And Sterling gets bodied way too often and Pogba. But that is a 7.5 out of 10. Now we go to Fire Zone. This is my primary team, bro. Looking forward to your suggestions on improving it. Okay, okay. Let's have a look at this. 
So we got Benya. Does that Benya card obviously needs to be upgraded because I believe that Benya card is so bad on stamina, it is ridiculous. So that's my first suggestion. What a defense. Oh my god, your defense is solid. You got the Decosta card. You got oh yes, this is this is more like it. This is more like it. This defense is so so strong, it's ridiculous, ridiculous. You're gonna have a bit of issue with obviously gay there, but but not really good left back the costa really good fullback navas now if he works for you understand goalkeepers has always been that that weird one where a person could be amazing for you and then another person could try it and it's absolutely terrible so if he's good for you obviously keep him back yoku beautiful oh what formation do you use in game don't tell me you use lamar sentiment do you use a kone it might be a kone sentiment it's probably a, a four two three one I'm guessing you choose Nabri on the right, Griezmann, Cam, Lamar left, and Yedda up top. As I said, improve that Yedda. Akone, centre mid? I personally wouldn't do it. I would definitely suggest getting someone else. You probably could go for like an N'Golo Kante and just play him off Kem. Like, it's going to be better than Akone in that midfield. Griezmann, uh, Griezmann as well. The gold card? Definitely wouldn't suggest that. But the people I do suggest you improve is definitely Ben Yedda and Griezmann. Every other player is pretty decent. Now, I am going to give him a rating out of 10. I don't believe it's an outstanding team. And it's definitely to, like space to improve. So, I am going to give him an, a 7 out of 10. Let's go to the next one. I, is it Tiger? I think it's, it's Tiger how you pronounce it. But let's look at this guy's team. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Now, I'm going to guess you play 4 2 3 one as well. I'm guessing uh, Kuman and... Balak as sent, uh, CDMs. Via, Sane, Raul, Bellarabi. It's a good defense. Mbappu, Konate. That's a really good defense. He's got one hell of a defense to him. I can tell you that. I like how you got that Marvi card as well. The Van der Sar is super, super overpowered this year. That's a really, really good team. Now, David Villa is a bit outdated. So, I do suggest, obviously, improving him. But if if he's still going for you and if he's still like really, really good for you, I'd just keep him. There's no point of really like changing him. Sane, for me, has never been outstanding. He's always been one of those players where he says he's got 99 pace, but he really hasn't for me, personally. Rayul, if he works for you, obviously keep it. But Bellarabi... Bellarabi is one of those sticky ones. I have used Bellarabi. I didn't actually do a play review on him, but I have used him in my squad. And I didn't really like him. He's been, he was one of those players that got bodied off the ball way too easily. He didn't feel great in bad gameplay either. But the two I definitely suggest changing. Your midfield is absolute god tier, by the way. Like, Kuman and uh, Balak, that is outstanding. But David Villa and Bellarabi is definitely the two I would say you need to improve in this team. You can literally put whoever you want. Like, you've got... You've got three icons around them. Put whoever you want there. I understand you've got a solid 6k and definitely need to charge your phone. But, you know, David Villa, Benavarbi, definitely, definitely need improving. Other than that, you've got a really, really good team, to be fair to you. And I have to get, I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. There's nothing really that's caught my eye yet. Like, we need a bit of, a bit of, you know, good teams. So this guy, this guy's got Rashford, Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm looking at the defense. And I see how strong the right side is. And then I'm looking at the left side. And I'm thinking to myself. Where did it all go wrong? Where? Where did it all go wrong? That right side is so god tier. To have, to have David. No, sorry, David. Bernardo Silva. Timo Di Acante. David Luiz. Cancelo. Wow. But then to have Bobby Moore and Gold Mendy, that is definitely your killer side. If I'm playing you, I am definitely forcing it to this side because I know that Gold Mendy is decent, but he's not outstanding. He's not going to keep up to the players I have now, obviously. Bobby Moore is definitely a person to obviously be careful with because of his height. But let's look at the attack a little bit. So Zoko, I can see 4 2 3 1, guessing you play Baggio Cam, Sane left, Bernardo right, and obviously Rashford up top. But midfield, solid. You don't need to improve. Your midfield is literally end game. Don't even bother with that. If I'm telling, if I'm telling you to improve anything, Baggio would be definitely the one to improve. He's not really outdated, but he's not really end game. So look at keep an eye for like team of the season, cheap team of the season beasts, and definitely switch out Mendy because you can put any any centre back you want there. To be fair to you, what you can actually do is you could put Ogbonna there. So get that Ogbonna card 
and you can put like a Premier League left back. Any Premier League, any Premier League left back would work literally. And then you've got yourself a really good, uh, a really good left side. Rashford, outstanding striker, definitely suggest getting him. Sane, for me personally, don't use him. Bernardo Silva, amazing. He's like the cheap. He was the cheap Messi. But yeah, Baggio is definitely this side. This like little triangle is definitely the side I would suggest obviously improving. Now I have to give this card a rating out of 10. I'm going to give him... This team is it is good, but this side is too bad. I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. But that is a really nice team, bro. Now we go on to the next guy. This is my team. Hope you like it. Thank you, Joseph. I remember you from the stream. Oh, wait. Have we already... Yeah, we've already done this team, haven't we? Let's move on. We've already done this team. As far as I know, let me scroll up a little bit just to make sure. Yeah, we've already done that team. Now we go to T, T Bustos, I think is how you pronounce it. But let's look at this team in game. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Now that team is actually pretty decent. Like the defense is solid. Like these two center backs, very nice. Very nice. Samedo, also very nice. Ariola, I like how you got that little Ariola links going. Alexandro, I'm guessing you you want to use the Douglas Costa, so you've put Alexandro there. That's what I'm I'm thinking to myself. But midfield, I'm guessing you use Bakayoko and Kante. Yet again, another 4 2 3 1 player, I feel like. But Kante, Bakayoko, beautiful midfield. Definitely don't need to improve that. Maybe obviously switch to like a team leader, Kante, when you get enough coins. How's he on strong? How's he? That's interesting. I didn't know that was full camp. Anyway, Dembele, outstanding player. You play him on the right. Really nice striker. I like how you got that five star, uh, five star weak foot play up top. Zidane as a cam. For me, I've never been a fan of Zidane, and you got him in as manager as well. I like that. Anyway, I never really liked Zidane as a cam because, because he's always been one of those. Oh, actually, what formation do you play? Because you got Zidane on a shadow. Maybe you don't have him as a cam. I'm not sure what formation you use because you didn't really mention it. But if you use Zidane as a cam, I definitely don't suggest uh, putting him on a shadow. Because you want to improve attacking stats as much as you can. And Zidane has got like a really, really like clumsy body in game. So he does a lot of falling over animations. That is one thing I did realize. So if anything, I would suggest selling him and probably improving him for a better player. Unless he's obviously untradeable. But this team, really nice team. The only downgrade I can see is definitely Alexandro, but I am going to give him an 8 out of 10 because I really like it. Now, we go on to the next team. Here's my team. Also, I hope you can review this. Yes, I will. Let's put it into full screen. Wow. The interesting formation. I like the formation you chose. Now, I like how you've put Munayin there for... Uh, it, no, Munia, sorry. I can't really pronounce his name. I'm not going to lie. Uh, for, obviously, Kem with Neymar. You obviously sub him off. I don't know who you sub him off for. But you have Musunda as well. Really need to try that Musunda card out as well. Uh, I like how you got Mertens on weekend. Nine Golden. Gold card, not the greatest. Allen Gold card, perfectly fine. Nine Golden. That needs to be improved, 100%. You've got 514k, to, to be fair to you. What you can actually do is you can like upgrade that to... I think, I think Nine Golden's got a headliner. I'm not 100%, but I think he does. Whatever it is, upgrade it to the best version of Nine Golden because I don't believe it goes for more than 500k. If it does, obviously get like the second best version. Dybala, I would not trust Dybala card down the wing at all. I'm really intrigued on who you sub on. Who you sub on for, for this right back. That is who I'm intrigued about because I can't really give you like a full on rate. Oh, he's alone as well. You see what I mean? This team's a bit of a sticky one because I can't give you like a full on like rating if some of the players aren't there. So let's say striker's not there. You don't usually have Kuman there. Sirigu, big issue as well. Koulibaly, perfect center back. Uh, Delict hasn't got the greatest agility. Definitely wouldn't suggest using these ones to watch. It's a good team, but there's some point. There's some points that need to improve. So this striker, nine goal in. Whoever used there, Sirigu needs improving. Delict needs improving. But other than that, and Dybala, other than that, you've got a good team too. Uh, I'm going to give him... I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10, simply because he's got a loan there. I can't really give him like a full-on rating. Now, we go on to the next player. Right, Steven, if you're watching this video, I'm not going to be clicking on links simply because if I do click on links, same, same thing with Senpai. Uh, 
simply because if I click on it, then I can't do my little alt tab thing. So send a picture and you'll be in the next episode. But we're going to look at this in game because this was an interesting team. Like if you look at this one, if you look at this team, you think to yourself, it's good, but it's not outrageous. Okay. Because he's got Kimmich Cam and you have to think to yourself, he's got like three CDMs pretty much. But then what you actually have to look at here is how he plays in... Oh, wait. Was that in-game? I think that was in-game, wasn't it? Oh, you play 4 one, two, one two. No, you don't. You play 4 2 three, one. Okay. 4 two, three, one. He lines it up as Kimmich Cam. And for me personally, I wouldn't suggest that. Now, if it works for you, I understand. He's outstanding at passing. He really is. He's dribbling. He feels decent on the ball. He doesn't feel outrageous on the ball, but he feels pretty nice. But the problem is with him... Is in a 4-2-3-1, uh, in a 4 2 3, one, what do you call it? Formation. Kimmich and Lewandowski are gonna switch. They're gonna switch time to time. So what you need to understand is Kimmich will be playing up front at some times. And with Kimmich playing up front, you're gonna have that certain situation where he will be in a shooting opportunity, and most likely the ball will not go into the back of the net. So it will be a killer. Once again, Bellavarbi, I don't believe is outstanding, so you definitely could improve in that aspect. Timo Werner, really good player. Lewandowski, really good player. These two CDMs, outstanding. You're, you're going to get interceptions for days pretty much. But McKenny, McKenny, I've used him recently and he feels so, so bad on the ball in bad gameplay. But can we take a minute to look at this defense? What a defense. Da Costa, Sakara, Noya, Kanji, Schulz. Come on now. You don't get a better defense than that in the Bundesliga. I can tell you. Oh, Boateng, actually. If you stick a Boateng there, whoo, whoo, you got one hell of a defense. Now, I like the team. This is probably my favorite team so far. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Definitely, definitely an 8 out of 10. But we are going to leave it there for now. But we are going to obviously return with another episode really, really soon to do the rest of these players. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.